Hey guys, uh, got another project going here I figured I'd share with you. Um, one thing with this farm is it is really dark here at night. Um, there's no street lights, there's no lights from traffic. I mean, we're out in the country. Um, <laughs> so I have uh, a uh, dusk to dawn, or yeah, dusk till dawn, I always say it backwards, um, light up at my house, and that's pretty well the only light outside, and that's just a uh, light bulb type of deal. Um, <clears throat> down on the barn here, there are some uh, motion lights. Um, now they are 150 watt light bulbs. There's two per fixture, and there's two fixtures. So 300 watts per fixture, 600 watts of electricity every time a cat walks by. So <laughs> they're, they're, they're kind of impractical. Uh, I've been messing with the sensitivity on them, and I know you can get LED bulbs for them, but the problem is there's so much uh, <clears throat> so much wildlife walking around at night here um, that they're on all the time anyway. So. I just ordered this, I'm gonna give this a try. I'll uh, let you know how it works, but I got a LED um, dawn till dusk light, or yeah, dusk till dawn light. Um, and we're gonna give it a try. I'm gonna put it up there. I'm gonna bypass the two motion lights and see how this does. Supposedly, this here is supposed to put out 250 watts worth of light. Uh, only using 35 watts, so uh, I don't know how well that's gonna work um, It's just a cheap uh, one to try if I like it if it works good um, I might get uh, another one and might get a better one. Uh, this one's made in China uh, So yeah, and I think it's a natural daylight color um, so We'll put this up and give it a try it looks fairly easy to wire <laughs> and all the hardware's there. They give you the lag bolts to go into the building. Uh, the wire nuts are there. They have these bolts here that uh, fasten this bracket into place. And you know what? I didn't get a. I have to run up and get a uh, electrical clamp, a wire clamp. I didn't see any instructions or any specs in the box. Oh yeah, they're there. Just the typical installation instructions. I want to see what the actual light output is on this thing. If they give you a loom, lumens, looms, whatever you call it. Uh, I don't see anything as far as specs. So, like I say, it was a cheap light. It was like twenty-five dollars. So, we'll uh, get the necessary hardware here and uh, put it on. All right, simple three bolt installation on the building. And you can see the power wire there that I want to tap into. Try to use my impact, but the way this is constructed, can't get it in there. So we're doing it this way. Hanging off of a ladder here. <laughs> and I got some bees that won't leave me alone this late in the year. So, I'll see where we get. All right, guys, still hanging off the ladder um, and battling the bees. Uh, as far as uh, the wiring goes, it should be common sense to wire a light. Um, you can see I tapped into this wire here that feeds that motion light right there. And there's a motion light up there. So, we've got it wired. I've got power to it. Um, this is the photo cell. And it takes a few minutes of darkness till it kicks on. And there it is. So I don't know what kind of light it's going to throw. Um, it's definitely using a lot less electricity than what I have now. So, and then once it's morning, it goes off. So everything seems to be working fine uh, that wire now is dead that goes over to there this was just the feed across to that that set of lights so i'm just gonna let that right like that um and then that motion light up there i'm gonna go over and uh, see if i can't turn it off uh, it should still feed power to this light but at least that'll be off and i won't have 300 watts of uh, electricity going off every time we have a cat outside so 
Uh, I guess the last clip I'll wait till it gets dark and uh, show you the result at night. Um, see if it works. So yeah, pretty easy install. Um, the worst thing was getting those lags in, but it's not going to go anywhere right now. So I'm going to go disconnect the other one. Just one more note, these voltage detectors are really nice. I really enjoy having mine. You can hear it beeping. Tells you there's power there. Um, takes a lot of the guesswork out. And then just to show you that this here is dead. In fact, it is dead. We got nothing there. So this, uh, it's a Milwaukee. For the sake of $20, I really enjoy this. Has a light on it in dark places and I thought the light was kind of a weird idea but um, believe it or not it is it is, does come in handy so yeah last clip I'll show you what it's like at night all right guys it's about quarter to seven at night um, it's not completely dark still some daylight but try to give you kind of the effect of this light it's hard to tell and it'd be better if it was pitch black out but I'm going in for the night So right now, supposedly, that's only using 35 watts of electricity, and it's putting out 250 watts worth of light, uh, comparably. So, I don't know. It's better than nothing. Um, could definitely get another one and uh, have two of them, and it would only be 70 watts, like a 70-watt bulb, I guess. So... It's something anyway. So, thanks for watching, guys.